Hey, people, it's our Swamp here, and welcome to episode 30 of Okami. Last time, we cleared the water dragon, we killed the water dragon in the process, we found the fox rods, and we basically gave him to Rao, and then we discovered Rao's in danger. So let's go and save Rao. And we're hearing this epic music, it's like, it's telling you, run on me, run, run into the giant whirlpool, I'll send you to the surface. Come on. We got whirlpools to go into. But anyways, this is one of those episodes where... I already have the tile right from the start of it because I know it happens and it's going to be a good title, trust me. Anyways, go. Swim faster on me. Swim faster on me. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot to start the timer. <laughs> Hey, go, 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 go. We can't warp, but we can't go to the city. We can't go to the city because basically what will happen is we're all knocked locked down. However, we can go to a Nuku temple. Come on. As you can see, the gate's closed. Talk to the guards. Don't worry, you're out. Who's only past this point? Sorry, bro. Yeah. Now we gotta run all the way to that temple area. Now, before that, I wanna equip this on. Okay, run forward, run forward. The epic music, though. Come on, run. Ami, run faster, run up the hill. You go over here, and you will see Ghost Ra. She's like, come! She's like, come on, come up the hill! Go into the stairs, go into my whole temple. <laughs> Whoa, it's Pussy Babe! Oh, she's gone! The Thought Spectre. Hey, hey. Oi, babe! She wants us to follow up her. And follow we will. Come on. And we're going to be shown to this back wall area. Again, where she wants to go? She wants to go into the wall. What the? You see that on me? The bussy went right through the wall. Wow, I didn't go through the wall. And then you get the eerie, spooky music. Ooh. Hey, there's a body here. Wow, looks like it's been lying here forever. There's nothing but bones and some clothing left. Now, where have I seen this clothes like this before? Yeah. You are get- Yeah. It, the pieces should be coming together very quickly about just who we were deal- Just who Rao really is. Anyways, we're in here. We're in the upper portion of the holy ground. Northern land. Pearl. Bullhorn. And we're back in the in Seon City. Huh? Isn't this Yumiko's palace? Why is there a top of an Uku temple here? Though, well, let's get going. The guards knocked out. Take the, ele the slow elevator up. The really, really slow elevator. The really, really slow elevator that really should be moving faster during a dramatic moment like this. 
And then we gotta swim through the lava. Because God forbid, here we go. Couldn't have a regular defense system. She couldn't just have a door. Like any regular person. No, she had the 500 curtains. And three doors that unlock as soon as you approach them. And anyways, you'll see the crystal ball there on the ground. And here we go dead. Yay. Not yay. That's just a jerk reaction for me. Just when I get into these situations. And now she's standing off in the corner. Huh? What the heck happened? Hey, pretty lady! Himiko! She's... she's dead! Darn it, I was gonna tap that! It was terrifying! A monster ten times my height appeared! It destroyed the magical barrier and left Queen Himiko like that! Bussy babe, is that you? What monster are you talking about? That ginormous thing that attacked you at a Nuku temple? I'm... I'm scared now. The evil beings we must defeat to save the people in the city. Their leader is such a mighty beast. No human can stand up to it. Our feeble mortal resistance is futile. Dang it! Himiko said she'd be okay as long as she had that crystal ball. So how the heck did this happen? Hey, Ami, why do you keep staring at the fussy bay? Because Ami came to the revelation that was... Very obvious when you saw that corpse in the well. Himiko's dead. Aren't you the least bit sad? What's wrong, Ami? Amaterasu, what are you doing? Ami doesn't like thoughts, Rao. Down, down, Ami. Have you lost your mind? Are you in the grip of the evil curse as well? Huh? Kanji Saibo Satu Zio Jin Hanya Ha Yara Mitaji Show can go bomb Kaiku Do is side you Yaku. Now I am have tempted to like do some weird edit with the voice here at this point because Rao undergoes a tiny transformation. What the What's up with those freaky eyes of yours, babe? You're freaking me out! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Well, on with this any longer would spoil the fun. You are a cunning beast, Amaterasu. I lured you to the treasure ship as bait for the water dragon, but you escaped and managed to get your paws on the look lucky mallet. You even cleared the city of the poison mist. You also started searching for Oni Island to bring down my fortress. And you even managed to tame the mighty water dragon. But, but, but now that the water dragon has gone, my fortress is impregnable. And Himiko is but a lifeless corpse. You'll never know where Oni Island is now. Ha 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 ha! Lucky must be, luck must be on my side. Occupying the body of this priestess, Rao, made it so simple. Breaking Himiko's magical barrier was easy once I got close to her. And Ami, what's the bussy babe we know? Where's the bussy babe we know and love? Dead in a well? It's all thanks to this item you got back from the luck on the water dragon. All because the fox rods are mine once again. Amaterasu, you foolish beast. My pupils do not move. My pupils are moving weirdly. They don't stay with consistent with my head. To think that you parted with this mighty source of magic so easily. Know that it was you who revived the power of the Dark Lord. This is the part where I am really considering just doing some weird some voice edits. She's really the Dark Lord? The Grand Master of Evil Beings? The Fox Rods made the Crystal Ball's barrier shatter like glass. Oh, if only you'd been here to see Himiko die. I think I'll take the crystal ball with me in the event that one of your pathetic friends tries to locate me. Yes, of course you can deep throw balls. And if I deal with you now too, Amaterasu, nothing will stand in the way of my world of evil beings. Ami, remember the Dragonian King's revelation? He was showing us how Foxface here killed the real Busty Babe. Boy, she's a real good faker. She had me totally fooled. And look what she did to poor little Himiko. Well, at least we won't have to worry about Oni Island anymore. We're gonna finish you off right here. Come on, Ami. 
Now, essentially, think of Rao, or just the Dark Lord, as Nine Tails, and not Nine Tails, as basically an umped up version of Waka. However, unlike Waka, come on. However, she's a lot more annoying than Waka. Lucky. Ah. Anyways, Power Slash 2 is a very good way to take her out. If you have it, good for you. Come on. Come on. Come on! Stop rolling! Stop rolling like you're freaking G.I. Joe! Oh. Ow! Come on. And there we go. Yeah, Ami is, is going to make a thought be gone. Okay, we have her now, Ami. Let's finish off that fox in French. Wench, sorry. Yeah. Use those fox rods. And transforming into the Dark Lord of Deceit. Ignorant fool! Did you really think it would be that easy? I have powers beyond belief! I have the power of the weekend! I have its dark energy under my control! I return always! I am like a disease of the weekend! There is but a taste of what the Dark Lord of the weekend can do! Yes, it's back, alright! At least temporarily! Hmm. Petty deity, it is only the size of this room that saved you! That and I have played that and really the I am having lumbar issues! Just because I couldn't do my weekend calisthenics, I, I was doing a lot of things in that body, and I, I was getting lost of stairs, I was feeling awkward, I was getting stage fright. It is far too small for me to unleash my true fury. However, resistance is futile, for your last remaining hope is gone. I shall now return to Oni Island and rally my dark forces. We have so many activities for the weekend. We'll play Tilly Winks and Scrabble, and we'll play Hope Stopch, and we'll pick sunflowers, and we'll look at clouds, and we'll look at constellations, and, and we'll impersonate the constellations. I hope it'll be so much fun. Oh, then there's bird watching. That's always a hobby at the weekend league. We also make ceramic plays. Do not forget that. Then we'll go forth and crush all who stand against the darkness and the weekend. You support Bande, we will destroy you. <laughs> I had to do the voice. Yes, it returned. The Kokichi voice returned once more. I love doing that voice so much. Amaterasu had allowed the Dark Lord to slip away. The display of evil sent chills down the wolf's spine. Amaterasu and Isun were left to swallow in overwhelming sadness. Himiko had remained steadfast in her quest to find Oni Island. In the end, she lost her life at the hands of the Dark Lord. With Himiko dead, died all clues of the location of Oni Island. Amaterasu and Isun were left with nary a shred of hope. Giving up their on their quest seemed the only option. That is when they noticed that the blood caked crystal ball spewed forth by the Dark Lord clearly displayed an image of Himiko. Isun, doubting his eyes, listened intently as Himiko began speaking. She explained that Oni Island would not be easily to find and that she had to determine to become ethereal and enter the crystal ball 
herself in search of clues. She had allowed herself to be consumed in order to use the Dark Lord's power. She was also aware that the Dark Lord now possessed the box rods. All was planned. Himiko will infuse the crystal ball with great power. The fortress housing the dark forces materialized. Oni Island, which appeared to look like a very stoned head, appears only at some time at a certain location. The place revealed by the crystal ball was none other than a spot just off the northwest shore of Ryoshima Coast, near the spot known as Watcher's Cape. Oni Island would appear again at Watcher's Cape at the next sunset. A small glimmer of hope returned to our heroes' hearts. Just as the image of Oni Island faded from the crystal, a deep crack appeared and split Imiko's image. She had paid the ultimate price for manipulating the dark flower. The crystal herself had been spent. The destiny of Imiko's very soul had been inter inextricably intertwined with that crystal ball. A burst of blinding light heralded the crystal's demise. Himiko's soul was caught up in the shattered fragments and drifted ser serenely towards the heaven above, even as she prayed fervently for Amaterasu's safe passage. Eh, you can't be perfect. 34,000, that's still very good. Fox face! I mean... The sun's going down. The revelation he could really like to tell us. Or we do, we can't let it go to waste. Who cares if we can't break the barrier on island? Let's make a beeline for Watcher's Cape on me. I am not sure if you can fail this, but I'm going to make it there. We're going to make it to Oni Island, and then we're going to end the episode off once I get to a save point. Yay. But yeah, we get the epic music as we run to Oni Island. Yeah, and we have to take the long way. No shortcut mirrors. We have to run all the way through the aristocratic quarter, through Rouse Whore Holy Whorehouse, and then we gotta just make it make a beeline for the north. It'll be sunset. It will remain that way. I'm not sure if you, you can if it's an indefinite sort of thing. Okay. Why don't I just use the freak the the mermaid spring and teleport over there? Oh, Sagami, are you nuts? This is not messing around with that thing. I want to teleport, Isun. God help me, Isun. I want to teleport. I mean, really, it would be one thing if you wanted to go to, like, a place like, like, Shinshu Field, or Taka Pass. Why would you want to go to Taka Pass after getting everything? I don't even know, because it's an evil place. And just, I want to just teleport to the, or to, to Ryojima Code so I can actually save a minute or so. I can save, like, two or so minutes. Not having to run there. Not through this, not through the Holy Horror House. Not through the town. Camera! The camera can be your enemy at times. It can just be your enemy. Okay. Come on. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, I wasn't speaking there. I just, I was thinking of something else. Okay. Come on, run, run, run. But this is just one of the most atmospheric portions of the game. You just feel like everything is on, on the line. Just the dark cloud. How oh, is it good to say? Security so tight, no one should be able to get through. Oh well, I suppose we don't need to worry about Dr. Hodge. You look too... Dr. Kuya was being even six. And plus he was leaving the... She was leaving the city. Oh, but anyways, one thing is, people debate about what Ninetales' gender is. Though, they're like, oh, well, it was inhabiting the body of East of Rao, and it was trying to pretend to be a, 
and was trying to be a priestess, and he seemed to call a foxhead wench. But you have to consider that Ninetales is, in fact, a male, because just the fact that King Water does definitively say he, 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 his instrument of evil. Oh, I'll be. But, anyways, let's just climb up. Come on. There's Watcher's Cove up there, and Oni Island, which moved about three feet, which moved three feet to the left. Ooh! And then Otohime, she's up here. Why am I Terasu? Hiya, babe. How'd you ever find this place? I sense Queen Emiko's fathomless regret upon her last breath. It made its way to the distant owls of the Dragon Palace. It said, Nyeh. Behold, the sun, even now it sinks be down below the sea. Once it's gone, so too shall Oni Island disappear. No one knows where it will appear next, and no art known to mortals can define its location. That may be true, but listen. It really doesn't matter because we can't break the barrier. I mean, the War Dragon was our only hope and it's dead now. The War Dragon is not dead in the true sense of the word. I can harness its power with a sincere prayer to the Dragon Worm. Beyond the Matarasu, I, Otohime of the Dragonians, shall transform into a dragon and break through the wall that divides. May I serve as a divine bridge to the heavens. And Odima turns into a giant dragon. Just gives us a stare. Come on, just crash into the barrier, please. I know they're trying to do this for but come on, just crash into the barrier. Just obviously staring blankly, like... Like what, were you expecting applause? Or... Odima, were you expecting applause? Anyways, break through the barrier. Now, Majorasu, you must cross while life yet courses through these veins. Okay, hang in there, babe. We'll be back in a jiffy. Sorry, Furball, looks like millet dumplings are in your stars. You'll have to settle for kicking some monster butt on Oni Island. Too bad I couldn't save after that. That would have been a badass thing to end the episode off on. Anyways, let's go. I can't believe we're already at Oni Island! Listen up, Mommy, Himi was probably watching over, so promise you you won't give up like some give up for some super like you're hungry or have to go to the bathroom. I do have to use the bathroom, mommy. I, you soon I haven't gone in about five hours. Okay then, I'll hold you I'll hold your word. Literally, I have been recording pretty consistently on this Saturday. Yes, I record on the weekends. That is why he is so powerful! He has the weekend on his side! Anyways, here's Oni Island. Tackle. Tackle. Now, cut out, Furball! Now, you get Fire Geyser. Use your Lava Tablet and get going. Whoa, that looks nasty. Normally, we'd be crispy curves if we touched that stuff. But we shouldn't be. But it shouldn't be any different water for you now, Ami. Come on, how about some of that bar magic of yours? Okay. Now we're going into the Oni Island head. Ooh, spooky, scary. Oni Island is the last dungeon in the game, which is a point, which is a one-time only dungeon. No straight beads here. It's like the Moon Cave. And where our goal is to reach the top of the place. So let's get go. Let's get a move on. Is it left or right? I can never be sure. Ah, yeah, it is. Come on, you couldn't... Beam me up! 
Beam me up, Tsurigami! Okay, Peach. Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> okay, let's just go. I, I'm sorry if my commentary is a little boring. Like, what, what am I going to say? Swimming through the lava, swimming through the lava. I'm not going to sing like some song. Swimming through the lava at the sound. I don't have lyrics right now. The lava burns and so we turn. And I have no other lyrics. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. I don't even know. See, this is why I don't sing on on random cue. Obtain the pearl. Like I said, claim everything because we're going to need money. Lots and lots of money. Come on, go, go up, 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 up. And we have already reached Oni Island. Yeah, these rocks do nothing for you. Slash the rock, nothing. Now, here we go. We're gonna run into a new enemy type. Remember how I said the Crimson Helm was a weaker version of the Ogres? Well, here are the Ogres. Their floor finisher is a technique, is gonna be the brush technique of this dungeon. But they aren't too bad. If you can defeat the Crimson Helm, you can defeat an Ogre. If anything, you First off, you're gonna basically just do a bunch of things. Power slash the ogre's mask, get hurt, and then basically just free some time. All ogres will have basically. Oh, I was gonna power slash him just to make things a little, a little faster for us. Out. Okay, good. And power slash. Cost of damage. And let's go. Okay. Okay. We didn't get perfect on damage, but so be it. Okay. And we're going to hand Fortress of Darkness. You can enter it through the front door. Literally, the front door is not barred in any way, shape, or form. Just, just bravo on your part, Nine Tails. Just bravo on your part. Yes, the Dark Lord's name is Nine Tails, not the Pokemon. Based off the same, myth based off the same mythological creatures, Pokemon at the Pokemon. Eh. Only Island. You had the pretty warped mind to build a castle here. It's a nice castle. I bet those two-bit monsters think they're big shots living here. Let's see what lost in finding our way through and dragging that fox that witch down by the scruff of her neck. Technically, Nine Tails is a guy, so yeah. Anyways. I think that's a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. If you come back for the next one, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, see you later. Bye.